Great is the Lord and the small compassion of the sinner as of me forever we be. Great is the faithfulness, great is the faithfulness, Happy New Year, all my viewers. We make it to 2021. Great is His faithfulness. Our God is so great. He's great in His faithfulness. It's not by our holiness. It's not by our carefulness that we make it to 2021. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. But epidemic that ruled the whole world. His mercy kept us alive. His mercy protects us. His mercy see us true. We know by His grace we will make it to 2021. I bless all my viewers, all my subscribers. Don't fail to subscribe. Don't fail to share the video. I bless you all. We all make it to 2021. God bless you. God increase you. God reward you. We all make it. Thank you all. We thank God. Happy New Year to all my viewers. God richly bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My last video was common mistake that build us that build up hatred in marriage we name them we discuss them my last video i make it understand we think they are common we think they are not they don't matter we look at them that it's it just they are common they don't matter but believe me brothers and sisters watching me this contributes to where we are in our marriage today in the whole world that some feel marriage is a problem marriage is so stressful marriage is an issue from the beginning god institute marriage god is in charge god is interested in marriage marriage is sweet and at the same time there are principles that guide marriage, that make marriage to work. Praise the Lord. My last video, our topic we discussed was common mistake that build up hatred in marriage. 
and we went the first uh, the first topic we take was bring it past event bring it past problem bring it past issue to present one we look at them that it doesn't matter it happened but in the other way one the other party said i am sorry i am sorry it's not the way he has to be mistake are bound to happen but when sorry come inside when repentance come inside you're supposed to let it go not bringing it up again say it say it say it is like you've not forgiven bringing it to present issue is like you've not forgiven it's like it's, it hasn't lead it hasn't leave your mind and don't forget each time you do it or each time it happens, he bring the person per se consigned, he bring his spirit down. He can flame up anger, he flame up hatred, he build up so many things. Though he might be smiley, though she might be smiley, but within there is something that is built there. Broken home does not start one day, it starts somewhere. It's a gradual process. Then it end up disaster. Praise the Lord. Then my next topic today, the topic we're going to discuss today is from like, I put it in a form of question. And uh, that reminds me, God bless all my viewers that respond on my past video. I have so many response, so many call, so many people contribute, so many people were even giving me topic to speak on. God bless you all. It's step by step. We will deal with all, all. And you that is still there, if you have experience, you want others to learn from. If you have a story you want to share, you want people to learn from, you want people to hear you, you want people to, to hear from your past mistakes, from your past experience, things that help you to where you are now, where you were once in, 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 in where you once have issue or once have challenge, how you go about it, how God see you through. And you want others, you want people, fellow, where fellow men and fellow women like you to benefit from it. The platform is free. Drop your comments, leave your email there. It will get to me. God bless you as you listen. God bless you as you subscribe. God bless you as you share my video. May the Lord richly bless you in Jesus' name. Our today's topic is very interesting. The topic is taking decision. Is it wrong for a man to take decision without his husband, without the wife, I mean? Is it wrong for a, the wife to take a decision without the husband? Is it even wrong for husband and wife to take decision without letting carry the children along? Praise the Lord. Before we start, we have some verses, some Bible verses we quickly have to read to back up our topic. The first one is Genesis 2 verse 24. Let's quickly go to Genesis 2. Genesis 2, verse 24, I read, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. You know, from the beginning, God make a woman a helper to the man. A helper. We women, we are helpers. We are to help our spouse. We are to help our partner. We are to help our husbands. Praise the Lord. And be a help. The man will leave his father, his mother. He will cling to his wife. And the two will become one flesh. Praise the Lord. And there come our topic. Now, can one body, can something affect the eyes without the tongue, we, can something affect the eyes without the whole body feel the pain? Or can something affect your tongue without affecting your whole body? Oh, if now the two become one flesh, is it wrong? Now part of the body will take a decision without the other part knowing, praise the Lord. These are questions. Leave your comments on the platform. 
send me an email, it will go to me. Praise the Lord. And we understand there are some ill decisions that need to be taken. There are some decisions a man or a woman need to, be ta need to take in a marriage without informing each other. We have them. One is when a man wants to surprise his spouse. Or when a woman wants to do some surprise, you know that one, he take it upon his, uh, his or herself. Oh, I want to surprise my husband. I want to surprise my wife. I want to surprise my children. That is different. Then another one comes. This happened to really praying, praying wife and praying husband, a home where God, where God lives. A man gets a revelation. A woman gets a revelation. And at the same time, don't forget, God is not the author of confusion. Praise the Lord. Apart from taking a decision to surprise your husband, to surprise your, your, wife, your, your wife, to surprise your children, that surprise is to appreciate the goodness of God in their life. Like some women know how to do a surprise party, birthday for their husband just to appreciate them. Likewise, some men, likewise, children. That decision is not seen, nothing wrong in there. But the decision we are taking about, talking about, the decision I am talking about is the decision that you know you are doing it based on your personal benefits. You want to do it for your personal benefits. Let's say, for example, a woman that has money. The husband does not have money. Then you will pass your back. You discuss with your family or with friends, with group of friends. There are friends. There are some, some men that are very good on this. They will discuss with their family, discuss with their mom. Even when they want to do something at home, their mom or their father, or somebody outside, we first of all hear it, even the woman, the partner in the house, before getting to know. This, this is wrong. It's part of what we are going to talk about today. How come? The Bible said, the man will leave his father, his mother, cleave to his wife. They will become one flesh. The two will become one flesh. Now you leave part of your body. Take it outside. Discuss everything you want to discuss outside. Coming into the house. How do you want the other party to feel? And there are some spices that are very... I don't know how to put it. They, 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 they are very manipulative. They know the weaknesses of their partner. They know and study the weaknesses on their partner. They will continue hitting at that area. Praise the Lord. So men will come to their wife. We say, oh, let's do this. Let's do this. From the sincere bottom of their heart. But some women are very crafty in their craftiness. They will view it instead of to look the same way with their partner. And see, see reason, good or bad. But if that thing is not benefiting them, they will look at it. How is this going to benefit me? How, is, how am I going to gain in this? Based, because it's not going to give them that benefit they want from that decision, they will stand no. But this is something that the whole family actually, when they execute it, the whole family, the children, the husband, the wife, the whole family, people around them is going to benefit from it. But because of the craftiness of the heart, the wickedness of the heart of a man, he will say, no, these are the things that bring problem. You will look at it, you may think they are minor, but don't think, don't fear that the man knows. The person per se, he knows. He knows the reason why you are refusing. But if actually your reasons are genuine, the Holy Spirit will minister to the other one. But whereby your reasons of disagreeing is not genuine, the other, the other person per se, we also know. Praise the Lord. And there are some people that some homes, 
that the man in the home does not recognize the wife. Anything he wants to do, he do it. He clarified that, oh, my wife does not know anything. Who told you? The God that brings two of you together, he knows two of your weaknesses. He knows there are areas that you need the help of each other. Praise the Lord. Then another thing is, some men take advantage of their wives. Maybe their faculty of thinking is not high to that of their level. But don't forget, no matter how bad he is, there is something good. There is area where she or he is very important, is very useful in the home. Praise the Lord. Then, all decision taking, they have to be table. View it. Discuss with your partner. Discuss with your husband. Discuss with your wife. There are things you have to, to, to remember. Anything you do now, it will reflect in your tomorrow living. Praise the Lord. And before you are taking any decision, remember there are people that are attached to it, good or bad. The outcome, good or bad, there are people that is going to affect one, you yourself, two, your husband or your wife, three, your children, generation come. These are the things you have to consider. And taking that decision, there are other things as well you have to consider. One, you have to be open to each other. Be honest. Examine the good and the bad. Put it on the table. Dear reminds, let's, let's read the book of the book of Proverbs 15, 22. Let's quickly read Proverbs. Proverbs 15, verse 22. Proverbs 15, 22 says, Proverbs 15, verse 22. It says, Without cancer, plans go wrong, but in the multitude of cancer law, they are established. Praise the Lord. It says, Without cancer, your best counsel, your best counselor is your partner. Believe me or not. Disagree to agree. Dig down it. This is January. Sit down with your partner. Sit down with your children. Put it on the table. Don't fear you know it all. Like what Proverbs tell us, Proverbs 11 verse 14. It said, trust the Lord. Don't depend on your own knowledge. Don't think you know it all. Don't think there is nothing in the other person. No. 